welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look. I posted on an Instagram earlier during the week when I was on my trip to New York. If you haven't seen my vlog, I will post it down below. And I'm actually really excited because I'm going to be doing this very appropriate fall soft glam look. I wore this makeup pretty much the whole entire time when I was in my New York trip this last weekend and a lot of you guys asked what I was wearing so I decided to recreate this look for you. This is strictly based off of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I cannot explain to you how obsessed I am with this palette. Like, I don't know why I never got it sooner but this is literally the best palette ever. It's all I used when I was in New York and it's just perfect. The only other eyeshadow that I used um, with my eyeshadows was Sienna by Anastasia and that is kind of like a brick red tone brown. I always use it in my crease, it's just kind of my go-to but this is pretty much the only thing that I used all weekend and I am so obsessed with it so if you don't have this and you're wondering about it, girl, you will not be disappointed and I know all the chocolate bar lovers that do have it are obsessed with this palette as well. Um, but yeah, anyways, I will go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Please remember to subscribe if you have not to my channel already. And a thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Um, I don't think there's anything else I have to say any more further. So I will go ahead and start this video right about now. Mwah. So I already have my face prepped and ready to go. Eyebrows done. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the first color from the chocolate bar palette which is white chocolate and it's just a very matte green color right underneath my brow bone just to go ahead and set off this look. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the salted caramel which is a very light brown. It's going to be my transition shade with the E40 blending brush from Sigma. You guys know this is my absolute fave. It just does the job effortlessly for you. And then the only color that I'm not using from the chocolate bar palette is Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, it is a brick tone brown. I always love using these types of tones on my eyes. I just personally believe it brings out brown. It brings out brown eyes, so I love to use that. And then I'm going to use Cherry Cordal uh, from the Chocolate Bar Palette, and this is kind of like a burgundyish brown. It's a very, very beautiful color, and just focus that right into the crease with a 224 blending brush from MAC which is just a little bit more dense and pointed at the tip. And after I did that, I ended up using a triple fudge and I just focused that right into the corner of the eye just to go ahead and smoke this look out and add more depth. Oh my god, you guys, I seriously can't get over how great this freaking power smells. It smells so good, I just want to eat it. <laughs> After I went and did that, I went ahead and used white chocolate again, which is that matte uh, cream color, and I just packed this right all over my lid. Look how pigmented that is. And this is literally so buttery. It doesn't create a lot of fallout, which I love. And I'm just using a MAC um, 252 shading brush on my lid and just making sure that I pack it because I really, really want these colors to stand out. After that, I went back with that sienna just a little bit and packed that on just to kind of create a pop of shadow. Then I'm going to use Champagne Truffle, which is another highlighting tone into this palette. It has a really beauty, really beautiful shimmer. And then I ended up using that right underneath my brow bone as well, just to go ahead and give more pop to this look. Going back with that 252 brush from MAC, I grabbed Salted Caramel once again, and I just feathered that underneath my lash line kind of give a little more airbrushed look and then I ended up using Cherry Cordell and pretty much just lined this out with a dense brush um, right underneath my waterline and on the outer corner I used triple fudge just to add a little bit more depth and drama to the look. Oh and then I'm singing a little bit for you guys. Hey! <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and highlight underneath my eyes with the NYX HD Concealer in Beige. This is one of my go-to. I ended up mixing in with uh, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW30. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and press this concealer down with my Sigma F86 brush. Love this brush. It leaves your concealer on flawlessly. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight and let y'all watch. To 
brighten up my eyes and make them look a little bit whiter, I'm going to use the Remmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Pencil in Nude. I really, really love the fact that it fits to my eyes. And after I do that, I'm going to set my concealer with the Anastasia Powder in Banana. Really, really, really love this powder. I'm obsessed with this contour kit. I just love it. And after I finish setting the powder under my eyes, I'm going to end up contouring my face. I'm a little early, but I'm going to end up contouring my face with that palette. I pretty much just mix in all the darker shades in together, and I just blend that out all over my face. So you guys pretty much see this through all the videos, so I'm going to stop talking, and you guys can just see me do the do. And to soften up the cheeks and give it a little bit more romance, I ended up adding a pink blush from NARS. I don't remember the name, but I will have the name listed down below in the description box. So don't worry, I got you. And then I absolutely love this highlighter. This is the Becca Highlighter in Champagne Gold. It is so beautiful and subtle. It is also limited edition, so if you are thinking about it, get your hands on it because it is absolutely beautiful. I thought it was going to come out really yellow, but it came out perfect. Then I popped on some lashes and I'm going to lay some mascara right on top of it. Usually I don't do that, but with these lashes I really like to go ahead and add a coat of mascara and then put some mascara on the bottom lashes also to add some drama. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and put some concealer on my lips to kind of mute out my lips so I can get the true pigment of the lipstick that I want. And here I am using the NYX Lip Liner in Coffee, which is my go-to. Really, really love this color. And after I line my lips, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Lipstick in Bare It All, which is a very muted uh, nude color. It is so beautiful and it's so pigmented and the wear of it is just great. So after I go ahead and add that lipstick, I am going to top it off with the Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss and Shimmer of Hope. And this has more of a peachy pinky undertone, so it really just sets that nice pouty lip for you. So this is the end result to the look. I hope you guys loved it. I really, really, really love this look. It is definitely a go-to look for fall. So I don't think I have anything else to say. I hope you guys loved it. Remember to subscribe, like if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys until next time. Bye. This look is primarily based off of the toothpaste, toothpaste, girl, toothpaste. this oh I got some hair in my locker anyway <laughs>